This one is one of the most honest pieces I've seen by a brilliant group of young people who are funny, they're, they, you know, they're so honest, they have got impeccable timing, you know, and just the whole way through you're relaxed and you're enjoying yourself and that's what theatre is all about and it's meant to be theatre that stimulates every audience and that's exactly what happened today. So. The tech was brilliant and actually in the discussion afterwards we've realised that it actually says a lot more about the 21st century in relationships that we've got nowadays than I originally thought like you know the fact that you've got this romantic relationship but juxtaposed on stage with a with a screen uh, and and this young guy who and I was just saying before that it feels like they've still got a closeness you've still got a relationship even though there's a screen and a person and what does that say about us nowadays we've all got touch screens but the characters don't even touch each other physically you know what does that mean and you know it's really asking questions that need to be directed at a 21st century audience especially a young one who are always looking down at their phones and, and things like that, which I hate. You know, you want the intimacy there, but they still manage to get that intimacy beside, you know, despite there being a screen. Like, I absolutely love that. I thought it was a brilliant storyline. I thought it was funny, witty, sensitive. I thought it was an important topic to bring up and do a sort of performance about. So I've had a really good evening. Thank you. I thought it was incredible. Um, yeah, really moving. Really, very good. Excellent. I um, run an agency for disabled actors and actors with disabilities, and I was absolutely the wrong way about the performances. Um, it wasn't what I was expecting at all. I've never seen this group before either. Um, they were amazing, absolutely brilliant. And the technology, I thought, was really interesting. Um, I had a quick look at the programme before I went in, so I was kind of expecting it. Um, but I was really interested to find out where she was to be filmed and all that sort of thing, so I had to ask afterwards how all that worked. The thing that I really liked about this production is that um, not only um, it was great production that stood up as a piece of theatre on its own without anything else, but um, I just I feel very passionately about um, actors with disability and actors with learning difficulties working and being very visible and, um, and producing work that stands up on its own against other work rather than, oh look at that, that's a, a, an acting group that's got learning difficulties and this group does it and I think it would be really interesting to see it too in um, venues like Contact, young audiences, they're the people we need to meet because they're the people that can change their opinions and, and I love the fact that there's an actor in it that in theory um, I, I'm constantly up against accessibility issues and travel arrangements with my actors with disability. Um, I love the fact that they can perform this from somewhere else. Um, it's brilliant. And I think we should have it for when I'm on stage so I can just perform from home. Is that rubbish? Um, I thought the performance was really good. It, it, it challenged me in terms of what to say what people kind of want. They've got the same lust, the same desires and the values, just that. You know, made me think about some of the barriers that are there for them, really, in, in meeting those and having relationships. I guess I was expecting, um, I don't know, something uh, a little bit more, um, not quite as an ensemble a piece, so it was really good that everyone got to, got to work together and be part of that. And actually the digital element, you know, allowed us to, to kind of have people in that space who, you know, maybe their physical sort of restrictions being a wheelchair user might otherwise have stopped them accessing that space and it's really interesting to, to think about that. Um, I think that in proving point, I think the, the opportunity for, uh, you know, a, a maybe a bigger space and a, an opportunity to maybe develop that into a, a slightly longer, maybe a two act, you know, two acts to maybe give some of the characters a bit more depth, but obviously, you know, this is the start of a journey for these guys and experimenting with it and, you know, it was a a great position to go from. Yeah, definitely, and I think something, you know, like increasing the access to theatre and the opportunities for disabled people to be involved, and, and actually it focuses then on their ability and not their disability is, is the barrier that's there. It gives them a chance to be involved and in, to whatever level they want to be. Oh, d definitely, you know, this is a show that you, it'll challenge you and make you think about, you know, that, that dark humour of what happens, and, uh, you know, and that, yeah, if it's there and it's touring near you, definitely go and see it. Thank you very much indeed, Matt. It was really good, it was uh, very funny, um, it was very well whittling and um, it was enjoyable to watch. Uh, what do you think of the show? 
It was absolutely brilliant. I really enjoyed it. It was funny, ecstatic, and the ending was uh, emotional. I had a tear in my eye. Yeah, it really worked. Yeah, it brought uh, expectations of disability. That it, everybody, they're all normal, and they should be treated as the same as everybody else. Really, really, really brilliant. If it was to go on tour, because that's, that's the whole thing, yeah, to, yeah. to move them out of, out of being local. That's it. And do you think it's important that, that like, crowd are working towards being able to move just out of Manchester? Yeah, and... yeah, of course it is, yeah. Uh, you've got to have uh, the ability to go anywhere, like any other production and drama groups. Yeah, absolutely, we should be touring the world. They're just... Oh, okay. These words can't explain it, it's brilliant.